Hello Year 5 and welcome to today's maths lesson. We're going to be continuing with our new topic of measure. Um, I know last week we started to look at conversions between centimetres and metres and metres and centimetres and also with kilometres. Today we're going to continue looking at that uh, conversion but we're going to look at a different unit of measure today. So let me just get the, these slides. Okay. So so today we're going to look at being able to convert between grams and kilograms and also kilograms to grams, which actually is a lot easier than what we may think. So a gram, one gram is about the weight of a, a bag of Skittles. So if you think about a bag of Skittles, they weigh roughly about one grams, okay? And obviously we know this basic stuff. Instead of writing grams, we just write G. A kilogram is about the weight of a large dictionary. And again, Instead of writing the whole word kilogram, we just write kg. That's a nice, just an easy recap. Okay. First of all, I want to think, because you should know this, back from prior learning in year three, year four, how many grams are in a kilogram? Have a think. Hopefully you remembered that there were a thousand grams in a kilogram. OK, why is it important that we know how many grams are in a kilogram? Because for us to do converting between kilograms and grams and grams into kilograms, we need to use our knowledge of multiplying and dividing by 1000. So if I was to convert between kilograms to grams, we're going to multiply by 1000. If I was going to convert between grams to kilograms, I'm going to divide now, we've done multiplying and dividing by a 1,000 before. So it should be nice, easy stuff for us. We should, hopefully, we shouldn't find this too difficult today. So, for example, I need to convert from grams to kilograms. Remember, I'm multiplying by a 1,000. So I've got 9 kilograms. So I've got something that's weighing 9 kilograms, and I've got to convert that to grams. So remember, I'm multiplying by a thousand and I know when I multiply by a thousand that the place value moves three to the left so that means that nine is going to move three places to the left which if you have a quick look at it move it three places to the left what would your answer be 30 seconds go Hopefully, you manage to work out that if I was to multiply the 9 by 1,000, I would end up with 9,000, which means 9 kilograms is equivalent to 9 grams. Let's do another one. I've got 17 kilograms, and again, I've got to put that into grams. And remember, multiply by 1,000, each place value is going to move three numbers, uh, three place values to the left. So the one is going to move three values to the left. Also, the seven is going to move three values to the left. 30 seconds again. Use the grid to help you. What is going to be the answer? How many uh, gram? excuse me, how many grams are going to be here? Hopefully you manage to move the one three places to the left, which takes it into the uh, thousands, tens of thousands, and then seven into the thousands, which would take me to 17,000. We're having another go at turning kilograms to grams. Again, multiply by a thousand. Each uh, value needs to move three places to the left. Have a quick go for yourself. Couple more seconds. Hopefully using the grid and also your knowledge of multiplying by a thousand, you were able to find out it's going to be 128,000 grams. Now we're going to look at doing the other way. We're going to look at converting from grams to kilograms. Now, 
like I said at the start, we're going to divide from grams to get convert grams to kilograms. We're going to do dividing by a thousand, which means the value of each number needs to move to the right three places. Okay, so thirty seconds. Have a go. Move each value, each number three to the right to find out the grams. Uh, to find out the kilograms. So hopefully you managed to move the values to the right and work out that your answer is going to be six kilograms. Let's have a look at another one of these. Oh, I've got a 1.5 kg. Now I've got a decimal number here. Now, some of you may look at that and be a bit worried about decimals, but we've done this before. Uh, even if we were multiplying or dividing a decimal, by a 10, a thousand, a hundred, it's easy. We just need to remember, leave the decimal point where it is and move the values, the number place values. So I've got 1.5 kg to grams. Now this is when I'm going to make it bigger. Okay. So it's going to move to the left. Through, oh, sorry. It's going to move to the left three, which is going to make it 1,500 grams. I think there's another decimal. Yes, there's another decimal, but I'm converting it from grams to kilograms, which means I'm going to make it smaller. And again, we're looking at the, the value of each thing moving three spaces, but this time to the right. So have a go at that one. 30 seconds, 19,000. Sorry, not 1,900 grams converting to kilograms. Hopefully you manage to work out, you're going to end up with 1.9 kilograms. So hopefully you manage to find that, let me just stop showing this, sorry. Hopefully you manage to find that fairly easy. Um, and it's just basically our knowledge that we've done before of multiplying and dividing by a thousand. Um, so we shouldn't stroke, we shouldn't have too many problems. We should find it fairly easy. So what you're going to do today is you're going to have on Google Classroom, you have a task like last week where you click on the document, it will open your own copy and you're going to write your answers on your, the sheets. Um, and that will automatically start saving as you start typing it starts saving your answers for myself and Mrs. Lovell to look at, to mark, give you some feedback. Um, there might be some that you do wrong and we might send it back to you and say, oh, look at that one again. Might be that you get them all right, which I know most of you are all capable of doing. Um, so, yes, hopefully that's, you shouldn't struggle today. Best of luck. Myself and Miss Lovell, we look forward to receiving your work. Bye.